So I wake up this morning to a Twitter notification from this guy named Tim and it was just an at Alice tweet. And so, you know, I had to actually click open the tweet to see what it was about. And after I opened the tweet, I discovered it was about another kind of hexaflexagon. And well, let's say I was intrigued by the idea, but knew I didn't have the time to make it. But as the day progressed, that's not exactly how things turned out. Okay, so um, I blame Tim for this, but I think I've made a 12-sided hexaflexagon now. So, you know, let, let's see if it worked. Um, you might see other number rings in here. That's because I played around with it. I messed up and so, well, those battle scars are in here because I didn't want to fold another thing. Okay, so 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 let's let's see how this worked out. So this is phase one. And after 20 minutes or so of just folding it around and trying to find all the faces, I believe I have it all mapped out. So we start from the one oh, right there. We start from that one. We can switch over to two, then four, then one. And if we go the other direction on one, we can get to eight. And um, from eight, we can get down to nine and one. Don't kill the tape. There's the one. Um, there's the eight back. And then four, ten, eight, four, one. And now we've, um, we've finished exploring that corner of the map. So let's go over to two, and two can get us down to three, and five, right there. Five gets to two, and then three again, and three brings us to one, and um, six. Three, one, and we head back to two, and up there we go up to four, and then if we go in this direction, we can see seven, and then eleven, whoops, seven, eleven, four, back to seven, down to two and then 12 nope 12 7 2 and 4 and now we have explored the entire graph and yeah there's your dodecahexaflexagon Thanks, Tim. Just thanks.